What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. It is here. I have been hyped up on this. I've been waiting for this forever. Solo leveling episode one is coming to the channel. Now, quick update before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know for some of you guys that have been commenting and wondering, Bungo Stray Dogs, Don Machi, and Vinland Saga have all been made Patreon exclusive. It's just I was a little too late on them for the hype and the views to retain, so it wasn't worth the editing time for it. But the full length versions, which is way easier to edit, are there. So if you guys do want to check that out, uh, also, Freerin, Fryerin, however you say it, and Solo Leveling and Class from the Elite are going to be this season's uh, new shows for me to hop on the channel. I'm still going to be continuing One Piece and everything like that. I've just been super sick over the past week because of holidays and family, and they don't care about spreading journey. You know, I could get into that for an hour. But for those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click that link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. If you want to consider keeping that for the rest of the shows, check out the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. In terms of this show, solo leveling, I know nothing about it. I am super excited. I know the hype for it is beyond imagine beyond compare and i know this plus class from the elite should lead me right into the spring season with like demon slayer my hero kaiju number eight mushoku again so i just have a amazing roster ahead of me i'm super excited i'm not going to waste any more time thank you guys for being patient during this opening let's get right into episode one this one's called i'm used to it all right here we go looks like an island surrounded by boats three years ago Already gives me like Made in Abyss vibes just with the island. I missed that show. Who the hunters? Hmm. Now we're in Hunter Hunter, the Chimera Antark. What's going on? I just. Oh, people are dying. We're catching bodies. I just want to know is this like a Sword Art Online where it's more like you go into a world or this, or this is the real world? I have no idea. We're too low rank, so there is. Oh. What is he, a paladin? Half healing, half offense? Oh, so far the animation is going insane. Yungu? We have some strong magic users, some strong people. I feel like I'm playing Baldur's Gate out here. I like this guy so far. The S ranks. Okay, so these are the hunters. Oh, this animation is kind of going crazy. First episode vibes are already a ima- oh, 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 oh. All right, Berserker with the lightning claws? Why you feel like snapping on the first episode, solo leveling? So, so instead of us going into the fake world, the fake world came to us? Okay, I like this concept. S, A, B, C, D, or E. That's got to be our main character. Can't, you can't work on it? You can't improve? From once you're locked in, you're locked in? Three years later, so that was like our introduction to the concept okay i'm liking this so far i don't like that you're locked into your level though i wish i would like to see some d's e's rank up to as you know is this one of the magic portals oh they just go in for raids on some destiny wow shit oh sung that's got to be our main character I have a feeling it's the opposite. They showed him with the E rank. Yep. The weakest hunter in all mankind. That's a horrible nickname. An E rank. Oh. Wow. Something tells me with the title of the show, maybe some solo leveling is going to happen. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is a based off a Korean web novel, right? So all these names are going to be Korean. Gonna take a second for me to get him. I like this. I like this concept a lot. You make money during raids, spend it on higher equipment, gear. It's really like a video game brought to our world. 
Like, I might be referencing Baldur's Gate and other dungeon-style games immensely throughout this reaction series, but I hope you guys can forgive me. Essence stones. It's like magical stones from Don Machi. And then you like how each one you can tell is different, depending on, I'm assuming, the level of the monster. Okay, shout out my man, Jin Wu. I gotta remember his name. Oh, that knife is done for, buddy. If you've ever seen... Oh, shit. If you've ever seen Goblin Slayer, you know goblins can be scary as fuck. My man got impaled. And we don't have a healer, right? Oh, never mind. I like this girl even more now. I'm getting huge Don Machi vibes from this raid. I love the magical beasts and their designs. You turn the essence stone into weapons and gear. It's like when you get adamantite and other things to forge, you know? Mana crystals. Ooh, you can see him right there. His fucking office. You know he was an OG hunter. I actually kind of like that concept. That only hunters are able, are going to be able to collect. So they're very vital and important, not just for their money and their little ecosystem, but for potentially the world. And they got the dungeon boss. I hope nothing bad happens to her. I really like her so far. I wonder how they divvy loot. Is it who does the most work? Is it just equal, you know? Yeah, you can tell like the rank of the stone based on how small. How... I like that. Mmm. Side quest? Double dungeon. Is our boy gonna be the tiebreaker? Song, what are you gonna decide? I'm hoping he plays it safe, but he doesn't want to be that guy that ruins it for the people who wants to go in, you know? His dad. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. And his mom is sick and his sister needs it. That's a lot of funds you need. Hey, respect it, brother. Even risking your own life, I respect it. I respect it. Does it test your magical output when you touch the black orb so you can see exactly where you're placed? This is like the Hunter's Association. Okay, okay. I like this. The world building already. Pretty elite. Oh, that was elegant. Oh my god, and she's beautiful. I need to know who this is. That's the one he was just the S rank. Okay, he said not even anyone we gathered today is not going to compare to her. S rank hunter. I just love her elegance and mobility. After 40 minutes of walking, I would do the same. Like you have, you're committed at this point. But that's a big ass door. That's kind of intimidating. I have a feeling they're all about to be hoed relatively shortly. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they lingered on these kind of statues. Yeah, I'm a little nervous right now. They're going to come to life or some shit. So far in terms of the creature design, the atmosphere design, even the character designs, I'm thoroughly enjoying them so far. Of the Cartanon Temple. Oh, hell nah. Nope. As soon as she says that, all right, all right, uh, let's sneak, let's sneak out of here a little bit. Those who do not adhere to the commandments will not leave alive as the door closes. Oh, hell nah. I don't, I have a feeling, and we know this show is not afraid to cause some death. Yeah, oh, oh my Bro, his upper half. Like, I, oh my god. I like how real this show is. Music's kind of going crazy, too. 
As long as nothing happens to B-Rank Healer and our main boy, I will be cooling. Are the eyes gonna move? He's looking at him intently now. He thought she was just imagining it. Oh, hell no. But this was different. He's a very observant guy who's... Oh my god! No way out of this one. That's where it ends? Oh hell nah. Don't do that to me. All right, so I'm definitely gonna go and get more names, especially during editings, but I was able to get at least four of the characters I can see are gonna be consistent. I wanna get the chairman's name as well. Um, I just need to go back and editing. I got Sung Jin Woo, that's our main boy. I am hoping everything is okay. We got, and if you guys can, I don't know how, you guys are gonna do it phonetically by typing, but if you guys can help me try to pronounce these names, I do not wanna butcher them. Is it Cha Hae In? Uh, the girl, the blonde girl who was a gangster. You got Choi Jong In, who is the guild master with the fire powers and the glasses. I really like him so far. And we got Lee Ju Hee, who she's the healer with our main man. Thoroughly enjoy her so far. I must say, even in just a 24 minute episode, the world building in terms of how you get tested, how you get how this happened, what's going on, the mana stones with the evolving. We want to turn these mana and essence stones into like an ideal clean source of energy. Like so far, world building and overworld plot is really immaculate. The designs and the animation are really good. I need to hear some of the music to get like a really a sense for it. Voice actors are killing it though right now too. Like for our first episode and intro and you guys know, is it going to be two cores? Is it going to be one core? We're getting 12 or 24 episodes. So far, I'm already hooked. I'm already, like some some shows take you two, three, four episodes to get hooked. I'm already in there. It gives me the dungeon, the monster, and the video game style, everything mixed into the real life events with an overworld governmental system who could be corrupt, who could have some things going. Oh, I am really enjoying this so far. And I, based off the title of the show, I'm assuming our boy who's I like how they made it clear once you're locked in your rank you're stuck there there's no amount of individual effort will ever be able to get you to a higher rank which is very crazy but i like that concept because i feel like our boy is going to be the only one who can do it imagine going from an e rank to s rank the weakest hunter in mankind to one of the oh this story is going to be cathartic i can already tell like i said thoroughly enjoyed it I like the concepts a lot. I like that introduction. I'll just throw us in with those ants and the other people with the fucking berserker boy and the the knives and uh and they, there's still stuff for us to learn. I like this magical gear, magical items. Like I, get, like I said, it gives me Don Machi, Shield Hero, Dungeon Slayer, sort of Baldur's Gate sort of vibes. All those entities, pieces of media, I love. Um, I love how there's like magic circles and stuff that even in this world where raids and dungeons and this sort of system has been here for years that they still don't even fully know of like i love how the uh chairman was like even though you know we've been doing this a while don't get complacent never think you are the strongest like you will die at some point take it from me and they found this double dungeon that they don't know there's an ancient script like there's so much stuff that even still to this day they don't know and i'm here to witness it with you guys like i'm oh my god i'm loving it Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon if you guys want to continue the full-length versions. Other than that, I appreciate y'all. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.